In many games, especially shooter games, there's usually a powerful force and it influences the weapons or gear that a person carries with them. This is called the meta, and the meta is prevalent to many popular shooter titles like Fortnite and Call of Duty. However, there is a shooter game that is less looked upon, which truly deserves a bigger fan base than it has. That game is Insurgency Sandstorm. Insurgency Sandstorm is a PvP and PvE shooter developed by New World Interactive, and is the latest of many Insurgency games. And in this game, there isn't exactly a meta. All weapons are balanced against each other, for the most part. Except the MDR. It's not balanced. While I usually see a lot of variety of the loadouts, there is a couple of weapons that I never see in use. And that's why today's video is on the iconic M3 Grease Gun, America's cheap 45 auto powerhouse. The Grease Gun was serviced to soldiers during World War II, and in this game, is given to you for 2 points if you play the Breacher class. Sporting a 30 round stick magazine of 45 auto as its stock magazine, it already boasts quite a bit of stopping power. It can usually take down most enemies within 2-4 to four hits depending on range. Recoil and stability are almost laughable, as this weapon produces almost no vertical recoil. This can be decreased even further by using its signature attachment, the Advanced Suppressor. Whoever made this attachment honestly needs a raise, because it's one of the best attachments in the entire game. This attachment halves the already low recoil, removes the muzzle flash, and silences the firearm, and that's all for 6 points. For any other weapon, that would be 8 points minimum, and you can't have a muzzle flash and a silencer. But for the grease gun? Nah. Not to mention, the firing sound for the advanced suppressor is so satisfying. It's so quiet that all you hear is just the bolt repositioning. It's only good if you have a chopper, by the way. Upstairs? <laughs> That was not okay. That was not okay. Ow. <laughs> that guy's truly got ab strain. He's calling a small shirt. Not like the, not like the three shirts I've got the bomb like the single one. It's never got us. It is a cool goofy fire score in the game, but it kind of works, though. When you just see the Amazon drones. <laughs> I'm going in! Boom! That better blow it up. I'm gonna be very upset. I killed them all. Yes. Please blow up. Yeah! <laughs> Maybe. Incendiary, yes! Close. Okay, they're close. No, we're not good up here. <laughs> that is so goofy. It's trying to go in. Door stuck. <laughs> Door stuck. <laughs> I think I need to help it up. See, that's the goofiest starting set I've ever heard. It's because I have the ultimate suppressor. <laughs> there really is only one downside to this weapon, and it's that you aren't going to be doing any far range combat. 45 is good damage and piercing up to around 40 or so feet in this game, but after that the time to kill is going to get so much slower due to 45 being a slower and beefier projectile. It's just getting deleted up there, it's not even a fair fight. This is a spot. Oh, what a W shot. After about a week of testing, I think it's safe to say that if you're looking for a budget quick killing gun for Breacher, you can't go wrong with the M3. As long as you aren't trying to snipe enemies spawning on Insurgent last on a hideout like I was trying to do, you'll get plenty of kills and have a lot of fun with the Grease Gun. Gosh, I'm about to read that again. I'm fine. Oh. 
that guy just got massacred. I shot that gunner! And there it goes. 45 auto is not bad at range. Yeah, I love the grease gun. It's actually so fun to use. I love hillside. <laughs> it's a pretty good map. Yeah, this guy was prone right, like, right no. where you, you passed by. Yeah, I'm sorry. Beautiful! Good shit. Oh, uh, well, um, that works too, I guess. Uh, well, now there's gonna be a gun run, so I'm still not gonna move forward. Guys, guys, oh. don't. Oh, well, didn't kill anybody. Kind of wiped him out. Oh, who? Oh, he threw a grenade. <laughs> he didn't bounce off of both of us. I'm down. A guy shot me once. Oh, 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 they don't even. They don't even know it's coming. Oh. Yeah. He's caught the ship opening it and taking it off. Oh, I'm dead. I'm not dead. I cannot see. Okay, I'm gonna take cover. How did I die? Nobody shot me. Oh, there was a guy there. Oh, he came from behind me? Okay. <laughs> okay. I almost didn't see that guy. Let's go. Oh, dang. I'm gonna walk into the doorway now, Logan. Okay, thank you. That one? Oh, I hold the flash, I'm good. Ow! Sorry, I'm bad. Oh, good. Oh, there's two RPG men. No! No! Get a stop to the the throw's up here! How many helos do these guys have? There's a guy upstairs, there's a guy upstairs behind you. There's a shotgun, he killed the last guy. Oh. No, that's the guy that killed the, the second last guy. Nice. Oh, oh. I keep wanting to call them scabs. Got him. Oh, he's getting scared. There's a guy right behind you, Logan. Oh, oh no. I didn't know that, that grenade was, was there. Definitely cut out most people for the cash. Oh, never mind. Can I get someone die? Maybe communicate it? I don't know. Oh, that guy just blasted away like all of these guys. I just found the entirety of the enemy team. You guys 